Distillation. Two distillations will now take place. In the first distillation, alembic tanks with an approximate capacity of 50 liters are loaded with the dead must. Below the tanks, firewood is lit. This heat causes the liquid to begin to boil. The first vapors that are released consist of like alcohols such as methanol and other substances like aldehydes and ketones. As they are non-edible, these vapors, known as distillate heads, will be withdrawn. Thereafter, edible alcohol vapors will begin to be released. These are known as the heart of the mescal. These vapors then pass through coils that are immersed in a tank of water that cools the vapors and condenses them, allowing them to leave the coil in liquid form. These liquids are received in a small container. This end product of the first distillation is called the ordinary. During the second distillation, the ordinary is transferred to the same alembic tanks for its redistillation, which follows the same process as the first distillation. The product of the second distillation is properly called mescal. Okay, Yellen. C can you explain us what are they doing now? They are still in the tank. They are going to start the next distillation. They are going to use the clay to seal the fillings of the tank. They are putting right now the pipe. It's all the way. Arroz. There's where the steam goes. They are going to use some rope to uh, to, to avoid the thing going out. Yeah, to, to seal it. Out. Yeah. So let me see if I, uh, I I will try to explain what I uh, how I understand the distillation process. So here in the you have a niche where you have fire yeah. that you light with wood. What kind of wood do you use? It's mesquite. Mesquite yeah. wood. Do you have enough mesquite here? Yeah, we have enough. All right. Okay, so you put mesquite wood there and light the fire. So the fire uh, heats up the tank, the tank, the tank with, with the fiber and the mosto. When the first uh, uh, boiling, Okay, the first thing that boils is alcohol, as I understand. Yeah, but it has a lot of uh, high content of methanol. All right, so the first thing that starts to evaporate at boiling are uh, acetones and, uh, and ethanol, which are small alcohols. And these steams comes through the, the, how do you call the head of the tank? The steel. Well, let's call it the steel. And goes through this pipe and comes, uh, uh, and comes into, uh, there is, well, we cannot see it, but there is, <clears throat> there is a coil. How do you call it? It's spiral or the coil. Spire. Okay, well, uh, in Spanish it's serpentine yeah. that goes that goes around, and this water is well water just uh, that comes out of that tank. Yeah. All right. And it helps to cool down the steam. Okay, and th so the water cools down the steam and the. St It's part of the condensation process. All right. And then, once it's condensed, it comes out of this pipe where you have a jar yeah. and you receive the, the okay. The it's a 25 liter jar and we use it uh, to get the whole string because the first distillation is called the ordinary distillation and we use the whole product. We get around 250 liters from the first distillation. You don't put heads and tails from the first distillation? It doesn't matter. We doesn't cut matter. it from the second distillation. 
You only cut it in the second distillation. Exactly. All right. Well, in tequila process, they cut uh, heads and tails from the ordinary distillation, and then they could again from the uh, okay. rectification. Oh wow! They are setting up the fire for the for the tank. Where this water come from? I mean, where the the water you fill up the tank? We have a windmill. If we have a windmill that is extracting water from a well. From a well. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you extract water from underground. Exactly. All right. Well, that's interesting. Very, very interesting. See they how they seal the. Yeah, the the alambic. Some, uh, some clothes. Okay, this is what I call high tech, high technology. Exactly. Yeah, it's uh, really <laughs> amazing. All righty. So, as I understand, you don't produce high volumes, is that right? Well, we actually do, but um, in a, it, it is small volumes, but many times so. All right, small small batches exactly. we call it small batches. Uh, but uh, to have a process like this means that uh, your production uh, year, yearly production is really small because you are not an industrial process. I mean, there is a uh, limited amount of mescal that you can pull out of here. We make around. In average, around 10,000 liters monthly. Monthly, 10,000 liters monthly. Exactly. Oh, well, that's a small plant, yeah. And that's very good because your product has a limited production, which makes it more valuable. More valuable, exactly. Um, okay, I, I, this is a detail I haven't seen. You have this... Uh, in Spanish, it's rebosadero, is where the the water comes out of this tank. Yeah. In other words, it's coming through this house and comes out from this uh, pipe. And where does this go? It goes to the drain and then it goes to the filter. It goes to a drain and a filter and then? It just goes to the, to the land. Oh, to, okay, to land. All right. For the first time, I got to see the unique method that the master mescalero uses to measure the concentration of alcohol in the liquid that comes out of the coil. This method consists in sucking the mescal that has been received on the tray with a reed or wooden tube. This mescal is then dropped onto the same tray. Incredibly, depending on the quantity of bubbles that are produced by this motion, the master mescalero can determine the alcohol content of the liquid. Medio <laughs> 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 